listening to episode four of On My Mind with Dana Ricotta. Today we'll talk about healthy diets. What are they? Raw foods, alternative milk products, beans, greens, greens, delicious ways to stay healthy. So let's start with raw food diet. Talk about what that is. It's all fresh fruits, raw vegetables, raw nuts and seeds, raw grains and legumes, sprouted and soaked, dried fruits and meats, nut milks, cold pressed olive, and coconut oils, uh, raw nut butters, fermented foods like kimchi, sauerkraut, and seaweed. Alternative milk products that we have tried and I really like. Almond milk has become a big staple in my diet. Um, I still have regular milk, but I really enjoy drinking almond milk with my coffee and iced coffee. Coconut milk, hemp milk, um, rice milk, other milks, uh, and and these milks are really good to try in your baking as well as with uh, cereal uh, and beans another way to get protein including uh, lentils, red kidney beans pink beans, pigeon peas uh, black beans garbanzo beans are great in different recipes, uh, roasting them and putting seasoning on them um, baby arugula some different grains that are wonderful uh, kale, chopped brussels sprouts, spring mix um there's an endless availability of this uh, for a delicious base to serve with cheeses, um, dried fruits, seeds, or nuts. Grains, uh, couscous, isn't the only pasta or grain. There are plenty of different kinds that are healthy, like quinoa, amaranth, buckwheat, groats that we can try. The benefits of the raw food diet can include weight loss and better overall health. However, health experts uh, warn eating a mostly raw diet may lead to a negative consequence. The diet can include several alternative prep methods like juicing, blending, dehydrating, soaking, and sprouting. People follow the diet for benefits like weight loss, improved vitality and increased energy, uh, and overall health, and a reduced impact on the environment. In this episode, we'll talk about my feelings on incorporating a raw food diet in moderation together with the best of the beans and greens. Other things that are promoted by the raw diet include foods to avoid, which other nutrition experts agree, like chips, pastas, pastries, alcohol, refined sugar, and flour, and some cooked foods and processed meats, like deli meats. Both research shows raw and cooked foods have health benefits, however. Um, One of the main reasons the raw foods diet discourages cooking is because of the belief that cooking destroys natural enzymes in foods. These enzymes are vital to human health and digestion. We can provide enzymes into our body with products like um, probiotics and digestive enzymes available at health food stores. High heat can cause these enzymes to unravel, but they would break down in the acidic environment of the stomach anyway. Another belief is that cooking destroys the nutritional content of foods like vitamin B and C, but can actually increase the availability of other nutrients and antioxidants, such as lipocene, as in tomato sauce, and beta-carotene, which is in sweet potatoes and carrots. Cooking can also help destroy harmful compounds in food. Cooking grains and legumes reduces lectins and phytic acid. In large quantities, these can block absorption of minerals by your body. In any case, moderation is essential, in my view. A well-balanced diet can be healthy as well as enjoyable. You're listening to On My Mind, a Bluebird production with Dale O'Connor.